Hey guys, it's me Jasmine. So I just wanted to give you a quick update that my name is no longer Creatively Jazz. It is Jazz Ali. So just wanted to update you guys. And today I'm just going to be showing you, um, I guess, my top 10 beauty products. I was actually inspired by Lissetti XO. She's actually one of my favorite YouTubers on here. And she did her like top favorite beauty products of all time. And I thought that I would do the same, but kind of focus more on like dry, sensitive skin, um, things that really work well for my skin type and all that good stuff. I guess we should just start. I'm just gonna like dump all this. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Also, I have a blog linked down below and this video is actually going to be like kind of connected to that blog. So if you enjoy reading more than you love watching videos, then this is basically saying the same thing, but just giving a little bit more background. So my first beauty product that I love is this um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And this is really good for getting rid of makeup, um, cleaning your skin. So. I honestly use this for both so if I feel like my skin is extremely dirty one day or um, I just want to like you know get some of that extra oil and dirt and makeup off I definitely use this in the mornings um, I don't really use it at night um, the only time that I use it at night is when I'm taking off my makeup the only thing about this is that um, even though it gets rid of mascara and eyeliner and all that stuff I don't use it around my eye area um, especially like here and like you know here where the eyelashes are I don't use it because it irritates my skin for some reason I don't know why but um, after a couple of times of using it around my eyes I was like I'm just not gonna do that but I mean like it's still a great product and I would still recommend it if you need something to get rid of your makeup um, if you want something that's a little bit softer than the makeup wipes that they have out now like I use the Neutrogena makeup wipes and they work fine, but like around the eye area, like if you rub too hard, it'll definitely um, get irritated and probably show some redness. So if you think that you want to try some micellar water, I definitely um, recommend this. My second favorite beauty product is this Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. I'm pretty sure I like featured this in one of my older videos that I did last year, but um. Yeah, it's my favorite. I definitely use it um, during like the winter time because that's when my skin gets really, really dried out. And I just use it all over my body. Um, and yeah, so I definitely recommend this if you have really dry skin or um, if you have like dry patches in your skin, I definitely recommend this. My next favorite product, it's not really like a beauty product, but it's this Cortisone 10. This is what it looks like. It's the Cortisone 10 Maximum Strength Intensive Healing Formula. Um, I used to use like the regular cortisone 10 when I was younger, but like now that I'm older, my eczema gets like really, really bad in the summertime because of like the heat and the sweat and all that stuff. So I definitely recommend this if you do have eczema. Um, I get it really bad like here where my um, elbows are, like this little area and like along here and then sometimes like along the back of my shoulder I get it really bad so I definitely like you know keep this in my purse um, if I need to you know just touch up those areas and I don't want to like get scarring even though I already have it but I mean it's fine but like yeah I definitely recommend this if you have really bad eczema and you just want to keep it under control my next favorite product is this Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts Ultra, Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm this is what it looks like I just tried this product out I want to say last winter and it's still here <laughs> um well did i get it last winter i think i got it like earlier this year like in january or something but um i really love this it's like it's not like a liquid consistency it's a little bit thicker than liquid um it's like a creamy i don't know exactly how to um describe it but like it's really good um i used to use the rosebud sal but like I don't know like that one's fine but like I feel like this one really gets the job done um, especially since like I have dry skin in general so obviously it'll apply to my lips and I definitely use this on a daily basis like after I brush my teeth put it on after you know it gets a little bit dry after a few hours like I'll put it on again um, it's definitely one of my favorite favorite like lip balm 
um, moisturizing lip products and I definitely suggest getting it. Next is deodorant. Um, I don't know, some of these may not be like beauty products like skin care, hair, all that stuff, but like it, it's, you know, it's one of my favorites. Like, um, I used to use Suave, but that really irritated my underarm. Um, and then I used like the Dove for like the original no scent, I guess. Um, that didn't work either. And then I tried the Dove powder. Um, it honestly works for me. Um, just because, I don't know, it's really soft. It goes on easily. Um, it has like a powdery smell, which I really like. But then also like, it doesn't irritate my skin. And I've used this for years, like years and years and years. And I always come back to it, so yeah. Next is another beauty product that I just um, bought a couple of weeks ago. It is the Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey for Sensitive Dry Skin Calming and Protecting Body Lotion. I really needed something that I can use during the summer when my eczema gets really bad and the Nivea is fine, but um, this, def this definitely like helps calm the itchy places that I have on my body. Um, and it also just smells really good, like, it, it just smells really good. <laughs> Um, and it's really lightweight, it's not like heavy, but if you are into something that's really heavy and like nourishing and moisturizing for your skin, I definitely say get the same product, but get the body butter. It's a lot thicker, um, it's like intense moisture, and I'm thinking of getting that one as well. Um, but I also saw that Bath & Body Works like kind of has the same thing, but it's like the Coco Shea. And they have the body butter for $16.50, so I think I'm going to try it out and just see how it works for me. Um, if it doesn't work for me, I'll let you know. Um, probably give a review of it sometime. A couple more of my favorite skin products include this Vaseline Intensive Care Deep Moisture Vaseline Jelly Cream. And honestly, I just use this for my hands. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if you can put it on your face. But I mean, like, I just use it for my hands because I get really dry hands. Like, I don't know how this happened, but like a couple of years ago when I was in college, um, my hands would just get like really, really dry during the winter and it never really happened like that before. But um, yeah, so I definitely use this when I need to like, you know, get that lotion on there. Um, I carry it in my purse, like it fits in there fine. Um, and it's also good for eczema if you have it on your hands. Like I do have eczema on the backs of my hands, which sucks. But um, the Vaseline definitely helps with that. And also like between my fingers it gets really dry, so I always use it um like there too and that's about it so yeah like Vaseline products are really good and like they really get the moisture kicking so if you need that you know for your eczema or dry hands I definitely recommend this product or the Nivea hand cream but like this one it's it's a deep moisture which I really need for my hands so if you like something lightweight I'd say Nivea hand cream but if you want something that's a little bit thicker and like will stay on longer this will definitely do like. Next I have this. It is the um, Co Bigelow Menthol Lip Shine and it's the vanilla mint one. It looks like this and I've had it for a really, really long time. Um, just because like I don't always put on lip gloss every day but like if my lips are extremely dry and I don't have my lip balm on me, I just pull this bad boy out and it definitely helps. Um, it also makes your breath smell pretty good too because it's like a minty kind of thing. But um, it definitely has some like, what is it? Not like he healing therapy, but like it, you can definitely feel it working on your lips because you can feel the tingle, you can feel like the mint kicking in, and it's just really good for like moisturizing your lips, you know? So, um, yeah, but this is a lip shine, so if you're not really into, like, you know, the lip shine kind of thing, I definitely say stick to, like, the hemp slip balm that I use. Um, and also, it's a little bit, it's a little bit sticky, like, when you put it on, you can, like, go like this, and, like, you can feel it, it's, like, a little bit sticky, but it stays on for a long time, and I really like it. And it also doesn't dry out your lips, like, right here. Like for me, I've used a gloss before where it's like, you can see that white line and it's really gross. Um, I don't like it, <laughs> but this definitely doesn't do that. So if you're into something like that, I definitely say pick it up. Um, you can get it from Bath and Body Works and I think this was like $7.50. And I'm like, yeah, it's a lot of money, but like it works. So, you know, this next beauty product is definitely one of my favorite. It is the Ulta, let me see, the Ulta Beauty. 
facial hair remover. And it's just like this really thin razor. You take it off like that, little cap. And I just use it to like touch up my um, facial hair right here because I've had this ever since fifth grade and I've hated it. And I've used razors, I've used like big razors, um, Chic Hydro, like all that stuff. And while that's fine and dandy and all, it's not really catered toward like facial hair. So I decided to pick this up and also one day and it was like, um, it came three in a pack for like $6 or something like that. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And I really like how it works. It's sharp, it gets all the hairs out, um, and yeah. So I definitely saw like video reviews of like the um, electric razor ones that are made for like the upper lip and stuff and like your sideburns and things like that. But I mean, this works totally fine too. Um, I'll either partner this up with like my Dove Sensitive Skin Body Soap or Bar Soap or like I'll use it with my cleansing balm when I'm washing my face and just like, you know, get it all up in there. So. It works fine for me. My final beauty skin product is this number seven beautiful skin cleansing balm. I've raved about this so much in like one of my last videos. It is my favorite, 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 favorite um, facial wash. It's like, it doesn't foam, it doesn't fizz or anything. Like, it's kind of like a lotion for your face, but you wash it off after you're done. So it's just like, it has a creamy consistency. It smells really good. Um, it's also hypoallergenic, and I think that the reason why um, other face, other facial cleaners didn't work for me was because they weren't hypoallergenic. But it has never broken me out. It has never made my face dry. Like I use this literally every single day, and since then I picked up their night cream, which I use at night. Um, you just partner this up. You just like put this on your face first, wash it off, then put the night cream on, let it sit overnight. And I've also gotten the hydration mask, um, and I also have the under eye like dark circle corrector, and it's definitely made my dark circles a lot lighter. Um, just because I have glasses, and I feel like um, dark circles definitely come with people who have glasses, and they were just like a little bit too much for me to handle one day. So I was like, I'll just try it, and it definitely helps. Um, and then I also partner it up with the face mist. It's not part of number seven, but oh, I can't remember the name. It's like Mario something. I can't remember, but like I use it after I put this on and it helps. So yeah. So that was the end of this video for my top 10 beauty products. Um, I definitely do want to do like the top 10 or a top five hair care products for natural hair and I will be working on that. So. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in the comments below. And I will also link down my blog. Um, follow me on my Instagram, Creatively Jazz, or my planner Instagram, which is Plans Jazz. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Ooh.